Hey, it's Mr. Mice Guy again, and today we're going to take a peek at my Micro Mice Hybrid line and compare them to a more average size mouse and just look at the size difference. I'm also trying a different angle, uh, so let's see how this goes. So here we are. I'm going to have these mice in a uh, this little container here because the hybrid micro mice line is a little bit skittish, especially at this age. Um, I don't want her to run away on me. So you can see that this smaller one over here is the smaller one, uh, is the, the, the hybrid micro mice line. And this one over here is a more average sized mouse, but uh, they are about the same age. Let's see if I can. So you can see that I have achieved some, I have achieved some size reduction. Because that they, because they do have some wild uh, ancestry, I, um, they might bite as well. <laughs> so they're, they're not as friendly uh, in general. And I'm gonna work on that eventually. Here's a more average sized mouse. Um, they're both young. Um, I'd say they're both about a month old or so. Let's see if I can uh, to They're both related as well. It's just this one here is about 50% wild. The smaller one's about 50% wild. And the larger one I think is 6% wild. Um, yeah, I'm afraid. I'm afraid she's going to run away on me. Uh, And I've got three other females that are more or less this size. Um, and I have two other females that are a goody but are 75% wild. So they will hopefully be a little bit smaller than this female here when they're adults. And I have a male that's 75% wild who's really tiny. So I am really excited about the tiny male. Um, I am going to breed him to this female as well as the other females I have. And uh, the cool thing about that male is that he's really tiny. Actually, I might, might be able to grab him, uh, but he's really tiny, and uh, he's a carrier for a bunch of domestic traits, like Angora, Pink Eye. Uh, let me grab him. Here is that tiny male. Um, comparable ages, I think the, uh, the light-colored female, the small light-colored female, is uh, probably the oldest of the batch, and then uh, this agouti male is the, the youngest, but but not substantially younger. Uh, and you can see that he is substantially smaller. It's real tiny. Very excited. Very excited about this little guy. And so we're gonna breed him to this female here. This, this big one here is actually a male, uh, a young male. Uh, and uh, he's actually gonna be bred to some other domestic females. Uh, so he's not going to be used. Let me take him out. Uh, but these two I'm very, very excited about. Look how tiny he is. Um, and I think I should be able to get them tinier. So, uh, and these aren't adults, you know, so they will get larger than they are right now. Yeah, they will get larger. Um, I haven't weighed them yet. Um, I suppose that's something I could do. Uh, but the original small male that I started with was about 11 grams, 11 and a half grams. And so these guys are definitely uh, smaller than that, but they will probably be a little bit larger than 11 grams, 11 and a half grams when they are adults. Um, so I, I don't think I've achieved the size that I'm looking for quite yet, uh, but we'll get there with time. Let's see if we can get some closer, Let's see how that looks. Kind of experimenting a little bit with this clear container. Uh, I'm not sure if I like it or not, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. All right. I think that's uh, I think that's gonna be it for this video. Um, I would like to take them all out, but 
that would be a disaster because they'd be jumping everywhere. At this age, they're really jumpy too, but in particular because they're small and have that wild ancestry, they're extra jumpy. And so I gotta be careful of that. Don't wanna lose anybody.